hello guys today I am going to show you some annex weld tools and uh, uh, welding as uh, my viewers already know is to show how we are going to weld two, two or more sheets to, uh, together so I'll, cov I'll be covering basic fillet weld today I will show you how to specify weld on two sheets I have created already two sheets to weld it together so to access the weld assistant you will have to switch it to modeling application you can do that by pressing ctrl m on your keyboard or you can go to application and select modeling here and when you are in modeling uh, if you do not see the tab for an X weld assistant here then you can just right click and click on weld assistant it will enable the weld assistant tool so these are the tools for welding we will be using fillet weld here so in fillet weld we can use three types of fillet weld one would be on single face here and here in one side and the other one would be uh, continuing but with the limit not all the surfaces and the third one will be covering all the surfaces of this wall to the base so let's uh, see one by one <coughs> so um, in the fillet weld s first set I need to select is the set I want to weld and second set will be the I want to select the face to weld to and here throat thickness size I will give it 5 my sheet says are 8 mm thick so 5 is ok for me so I can click on show result and my weld is ready so this is one way the other way is I can just add the faces to first set this face and this face then if I see the results these are the results only one face is uh, face was not selected this one and the weld does not cover that face along with this we can also set some custom limits if you see this small dot here you can just drag as per your uh, requirements and your world will be shortened here or you can precisely control that by clicking on the start or maybe you can use this uh, cross there is a limit option here you can give the values here 20 here 40 here so this is it your weld is ready similarly the third option is that we do not want any limits and we want it all around in order to do that we will have to add one more surface to first set and when we did that now if you see results here welding is done all around so these are the three fillet weld symbols that we can use so along with this fillet uh, weld we can also use another thing which is called a symbol usually we give it in the drawings uh, we used to but nowadays many companies are using PMIs to uh, give symbols on the 3D itself and these 3Ds are then directly sent to the shop floors for the workers to refer to so we can directly give the symbol uh, within this fillet win weld window go to settings and tick on assign weld PMI option and when you click OK the weld will be finished and uh, this window will be switched to welding symbol uh, window which is the same weld symbol window which you will use to create weld for the drawing so uh, our weld symbol is here uh, as per your uh, uh, parameters you used in the fillet weld window it will automatically pick many things for example size it has picked it has picked 
the length of the world and it has also picked that it is the all around world you can customize as per your requirements if it is not all around and custom length then you can pick here everything is here given here so there are two things only at this moment i see which needed i will just specify that this symbol should be placed on this datum not on the bottom as earlier and uh, my arrow is pointing right up on the surface so there is no need to correct that if you wanted to if your arrow is not here you can do so by clicking on select terminating object and the your desired location but i'm good to go so i'll click ok my symbol later on i can just pick and drag wherever we want so this is the world symbol and the weld with PMI so uh, and uh, the standard you can I think as per your uh, region you can always specify where you want it uh, if you want to add it you have to move to part navigator and there is the history of the weld symbol again you have to in order to edit the PMI you have to go through weld symbol if you click ok it will switch again to ok why it didn't assign world PMI ok there is another world symbol so uh, you can just specify uh, for example if you want to change this all the option that you would like to do or you would use to do in in the drawing to specify the symbols all the options are here that you can customize so this is it uh, that's it for today's video and i hope you guys like it if you do please like my videos and share it to your friends as well and subscribe to my channel for the support and thank you guys enjoy your day